The current way of doing things was clashing in all kinds of ways because we hadn't been thoughtful about the physics of it. Why don't we take that and run with that a little bit and see if we could figure out, you know, what is this made of? What is the material that our software is made of? If in the real world we build expectations for how something will behave because we have a mental model of what it is, how do we start to build expectations in the user's mind about how a digital surface will behave when we don't have a preconceived notion of it? We don't know what it's made of. With the advent of smartphone technologies and displays, we have paper resolution in our devices. And so paper is just a natural, space, natural place to start for material, but our paper wasn't paper. It's digital. Um, it's just pixels. John came up with the idea of smart paper, quantum paper, and that idea of it being mostly paper-like served as a rallying cry and as a kind of a mental and emotional focal point for the whole initiative. Material is the metaphor in the sense that physical objects have physical properties. To take that and say, software has mass. If we can build on that, then we can get people to a point where they're sort of effortlessly using software and, and it feels elegant to them. Your users on the other end of your application, they're not here to experience your application. They're just trying to get through their day. And anytime they get tripped up by something that doesn't work the way they expect it to, you know, that's your failure. All of the motion graphics and all of the visual design in terms of shadowing and depth and layers, those are all there in service to give you some cues about where things live, how things are organized, what's the hierarchy, and that's in service of the usability. All the traditional design disciplines that we typically associate with physical goods, they've reached a certain status in terms of of beauty. And software design is extremely young. At some point, and the point's not too far from today, um, designing digital interfaces is, is going to really have the full range of surface material quality that industrial design has today. We've gotten to a point where software becomes an omnipresent tool in your life, as, as, as present as the chair or the clothes that you wear. And I think that raises the bar significantly on people's expectations for even just the aesthetics of the tool, um, the beauty of it. We've only just gotten to the point where we could begin to deliver on those expectations.